When first starting out in ACE, I recommend that you watch my ACE Fundamentals videos. Uh, they're a little older, and they're not at 12.6.26, but a lot of the things that are covered in those older videos still apply today. One new addition, though, is under Tutorials. If we go ahead and use our handset and go to Tutorials, we see there are two options up here for the ACE Basics and ACE Features. Additionally, the videos here are worth watching as well from time to time if you find that you're struggling with maybe your trigger is no longer firing or firing too much. Click on Trigger Calibration. Not really sure what rank's about. Go ahead and click on Get Ranked. I want to find friends or I want to play online. Click the Social and Performance Dashboard. You'll learn all about ACE in these uh, videos that are here, but another great thing that they added are the tutorials. So we'll go ahead and run through each of these tutorials just so you can see um, maybe if you hadn't run through them, where they are, what they're about, and for those of you that may be interested in purchasing ACE and are interested in how it works, uh, a little bit about that. So we'll go ahead and click on the basics. Welcome to ACE. We are glad you joined us. Let's go through a brief tutorial to set you up for success. If we look at the handset, we'll see that A and B are highlighted as well the trigger. Shoot and hit all targets in front of you, including water bottles and pumpkin. Okay, so we'll go ahead and line up our sights. Shoot all the targets. Did the trigger feel right? Did it fire around when you intended to after the trigger clicks? If you hit no here, it'll show you how to calibrate the trigger. So if you're having trigger calibration issues and you're new to ACE, click no. In our case, everything worked as intended, so we'll go ahead and click yes. Excellent. Your virtual gun is now empty of bullets. Press the mag release button on your handset. Now insert a new magazine by tapping on the bottom of the handset with the palm of your hand. Well done. You have finished the shooting basics. Next we will cover how to move about the range. An area to your left is now highlighted. While looking there, push and hold the joystick forward. When the indicator turns blue, let go of the joystick. This is great if you don't have a lot of space or you need to move a large distance in ACE. Uh, Due to my space constraints, this is primarily how I move an ace, so we'll press up on the joystick, it'll turn blue, and as we tilt our head up or down or left or right, it'll follow us around. Once we're in the box, we go ahead and let go of the stick. Great, you got it. Let's do it again. We'll go to the next spot. Awesome. Now turn around, repeat the same process, and head back to start area. Uh, I should be able to show yep uh, the position of the firearm does not have to match the position of where you're looking so like in this case if I didn't want to be breaking the 180 degree rule that I use for the shooting sport competitions I can still point the firearm back downrange and still look where I'm going I'll release the stick and it teleports so something to consider there as well when you're teleporting around ace if you point the firearm um, up range or break the 180 degree plane, you're going to be disqualified when running a drill. You have finished the movement basics. Let's now walk through how to run a shooting stage. To begin shooting a stage, face down range and press the button highlighted on your handset or click the button highlighted on the instructions board. Okay, so on the handset it's highlighting the A button here, so you can do that. That's my primary method for activating a stage. Or you can also go over here and pull the trigger on the play stage. Um, Pretty, pretty easy to do. It'll give you enough time. It'll say ready, stand by, and then you can go to low ready and, and, and do what you need to do for the stage. Now point the muzzle down 45 degrees or lower. When you hear a beep, shoot all the targets according to the instruction. Nice shooting. To finish the stage, press the highlighted button on your handset. Same thing applies here. I primarily press the A button. Um, it's a way to end the stage. Great job. Here are your results. 
pull the trigger halfway to cycle through your shot splits. So we'll go ahead and pull the trigger halfway, and we'll see I can focus on all hits when they're all displayed, or Congratulations. hit number one. You have finished the Ace Basics tutorial. Now click the highlighted hut icon to go to your hut. The hut is your home base for Ace. And cycle through two, three, four, five, six. Additionally, with the stage display here with the score, it'll tell me my accuracy, my precision, my speed, my ace ranking based on the, the hit factor that I have, as well as the ace score. Uh, it'll tell me if I'm doing better or worse than I've done it before. If I've earned any brass, it'll tell me if I had any misses, any penalties, which I can expand with this arrow. So if I were to say miss a target or shoot a no shoot, I can expand that arrow and it'll tell me total points and then it'll give me um, the uh, the tips based on how I performed on that stage. Having completed Ace Basics, let's go ahead and head into the Ace Features tutorial. Welcome to the Ace Features tutorial. Now you will learn about all the features here in your hut. Ready to start the Ace Features tutorial? Pretty self-explanatory here. If you hit no, it brings you back to the hut. We'll go ahead and hit yes. Great. Let's start with the workbench. Teleportation will be enabled. So use the joystick to move to the green highlighted area. The workbench is where you unlock guns and optics. As you shoot, you earn currency called brass. Spend that brass to unlock guns and optics. We'll go ahead and teleport. Great. Now let's select your new VR gun. Click on the View My Collection. In this case, we're going to click Browse All. And then we'll go ahead and click on View My Collection under the P320X5 Legion. Now click on the I Quick Equip button to put the VR gun in your hand. We'll click Quick Equip. Ready to choose your optic? To modify this gun, point at the workbench under this TV and pull the trigger. This firearm already has an optic, but we'll put it on the bench. To attach an optic to your VR gun, hover over the desired optic and select Attach. So in this case, I have to remove the Romeo 3 Max Pro, and then we'll go find it again. And click Attach. Nice. Now grab your gun from the workbench by pointing at it and pulling the trigger. We can see when we go over the gun, it kind of gets this goldish uh, wave type of thing going on. We'll go ahead and pull the trigger on it, and it goes awesome. back to our hand. Now that you are familiar with the workbench, let's check out your gun rack. Okay. This is the gun rack. Let's put your gun on the gun rack. Point at an empty slot on the rack and pull the trigger. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can see it highlights green. Great. Now pick the gun back up from the rack. Point at it again and pull the trigger. Well it's done. Brilliant. Now let's take a look at the main TV. If you put the gun in the gun safe by pointing at the gun safe in your hut when you're not in the tutorial, the way to get it out of the gun safe is to go to the workbench, browse all or the brand of firearm that it is, and go to quick equip again. It'll bring it out of the gun safe. So just something that's not really clear. Uh, sometimes people don't know where their gun went. If it's in the safe, you can retrieve it from the workbench TV. This is the main TV menu. Here you find stages to shoot, view your profile, and access support. Let's go through each section. This section shows your profile information. And they're talking about up top here. Your season rank is an average of your scores in daily drills, weekly series, and live events. This also corresponds to the table that's over here on the left. You'll see that, in this case, this player has a rank between 40 and 70 for a bronze rank. Currencies includes brass to unlock guns and optics, lead to submit an official leaderboard score, and powder which is under development. It's worth noting that lead runs or official leaderboard score runs are not related to your rank necessarily. What I mean by that is it's a persistent leaderboard where your score stays throughout the season rather than getting reset 
on a weekly basis. So if you feel that you're doing very well at a stage or you want to see if you're improving over a long period of time, go ahead and do a couple of ranked runs by using lead and that will keep that score persistent there for you throughout the season. Your ranked runs are not utilizing lead. Uh, those, are, those are the dailies, weeklies, live events, um, things like that. So just a, another point to make. Earn currency with high scores, a season rank, daily drills, or weekly series scores. Level measures your time and ace. The more you shoot, the higher your level goes. You should see the red bar after a drill go up by a small percentage, uh, 10 points, 5 points, whatever it is. Uh, you'll see that number go up. If it's stuck, it's something that's happening on the back end. Your progress is still recorded, at least it, as as I've seen it, uh, where it sometimes gets stuck and they go and fix it. And then all of a sudden you'll, you'll jump up and experience a little bit or levels. Um, but it shows you again kind of how far along you are in the progress bar. So just something to keep in mind if it's stuck. Um, they're probably working on getting that fixed and it's all getting recorded in the back end. At least to date, that's how it's been. And then your level, of course, corresponds to pretty much how much have you been shooting, how many drills. Now, let's review the types of stages you can shoot in ACE. ACE stages are split into three categories, thrills, drills, and skills. Thrills are fun minigames and open ranges. Shoot robots, blast drones, or plank on a range. Drills are competition stages and training drills. Let's take a look into this section. We have single stage drills and multi-stage series, like a match. Let's look at the drills. Drills has the most stages. We add more regularly. Let's review how to find what you want to shoot. Sort to find your favorites or new content. Or apply a filter. You can do the filter applications here. You can sort A to Z. Uh, Z to A, various other methods here. And then if you want to go back to normal, you can click clear filters. Additionally, in the newest version, ending in .26, you can search by name. There will be a bar here. You can click in, a keyboard will come up, and you'll be able to type in the name of the stage that you're looking for. Use filters to target a skill to build, such as speed, or train for a sport such as USPSA. Pick your range environment the forest, the desert, or in the middle of the blizzard. The choice is yours. There's also berms, which is kind of a plain range. And the, uh, the blizzard, I'll tell you, is one where it's visually distracting. But if you're in one of the northern parts of the world where you get snow, it might actually be worth training there a little bit because it'll simulate the snow and things like that that you'll have to deal with in real life. So uh, while I rag on it a little bit, it is a valuable training tool for those who shoot competitions in those uh, types of climates or for those who are looking for a little more of a challenge. Select your range environment here or go directly to that range. To return to the previous menu screen, click the back button. Or just click the ACE logo to return to the home screen. So right here or up in the upper left corner. Skills is the last section of stages. Go here to work on specific fundamentals of shooting at your own pace. Each stage builds a fundamental skill, such as transitions, speed, or accuracy. Pick a stage and build your skills. The side menu provides support. Adjust your settings, review tutorials, or learn about updates. Now let's take a look at the community and performance TV. This is where you can connect with others and track your performance progress. This TV contains the community and performance dashboards. This is the community dashboard. Here you will find your friends and groups that you will join. So as you add friends or as you join groups, you can click on each one of these and go into them. Additionally, you can go ahead and enable multiplayer here, which will give you a room code so people can join you. You can click on this dashboard to enter the community section. Here, you can add friends, join groups, and join others in multiplayer. So if you're looking for a group and you want to join, you can enter the text to find the groups. Once you've joined it, you can go under My Groups um, and select the group range if you want to negotiate with others on that group range. Back to the dashboard. This is the performance dashboard where you can see your metrics. 
Here you will find your performance metrics and progress through each season. When you click on the performance metrics dashboard as well, you can enable guest mode. So if someone's using your headset and you don't want their shooting to impact your scores or your uh, your metrics here, you can go ahead and enable that for 60 minutes by clicking here. And it, no matter what they're shooting, it won't impact you whether it be better or worse. Now, for the last section, turn around and go to the achievement corner. We'll back up a little bit. This is your personal achievements corner. Let's go through each piece. They're talking about the, uh, the two bookcases here, as well as the buckets, <laughs> buckets of brass and the, uh, the board over here. This is the trophy case. Earn trophies each season for special events or as your ace tenure grows. This is the badge display. Celebrate your streaks and other accomplishments. This calendar tracks each day you use ACE to help you with accountability to your goals. This is your rounds and savings tracker. The more you shoot, the more buckets of brass you collect, just like on the range, except you don't have to pick it up. Nice feature. Congrats. You completed the ACE features tutorial. You are ready to take your shooting to the next level. So those were the tutorials in ACE. Go ahead and walk through them yourselves. You might learn a new thing or two. Uh, watch some of the videos here. Uh, they're available also on uh, their website, acexr.com. If you do decide to purchase Ace, uh, you can also use code GHOST6, G-H-O-S-T-6. It might save you a little bit of money on checkout. Good good little, little bit of savings there, perhaps. And... Uh, yeah, go out there and train, right? This is a platform that's being constantly updated and developed. The developers are extremely engaged with the community, constantly providing new value to those who subscribe to the platform. Um, you know, I've done a video well, on my thoughts on it after 250,000 plus rounds now. I, I still think it's one of the best values in firearms training out there for anybody from uh, beginner to grandmasters in USPSA. There, there's definitely something that you can gain from ace vr and i'm excited to see where they take it if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes or just wondering how something works in ace feel free to post it in the comments below with that we'll see you next time on range time